for full dramatic effect, I'm going to create fire. And I'll tell you what, guys, this is going to be the mother of all gavens. What is the crack, everyone? Welcome back to BioCell. I hope, of course, you're all well. We're back again talking about grimness, darkness, depression, recessions, good fun. On the channel, it's all been pretty doom and gloom, but we had a bit of a run. Um, and then the run kind of stopped over tax season. I was kind of going, look, just be careful, let tax season end on the 18th. And hopefully we'll find a bit of buying pressure come in. We've seen that on the 19th and then it's all went pretty much south. Now, it's been an interesting week for us on the Discord. Um, earnings were phenomenal by Tesla. Absolutely mind-blowing. I didn't play earnings. I took all my money out. Don't like to play earnings on this channel. Too risky. We've seen what happened to Netflix. <laughs> so we didn't play. Great news came out. Jumped in. Rolled it up. Things were looking good. And then it all went south very, very quickly. And we've been covering this in the Discord. We've been putting in our buy and their sales and everyone. And a lot of people jumped on Tesla and a lot of people, unfortunately, kind of got burned. We're not too worried. Tesla's going to be fine. But it's just an interesting week of how it all is just unraveled. And uh, unfortunately, guys, I'm going to bring some darkness to you now. US equity markets had their worst single day decline on Friday since 2020 on the heels of comments of the Fed, Jerome Powell, the Fed would consider more aggressive interest rates. That's ultimately what is left is raw. It's the fact that he came out and said this here and everything just sunk like a stone. Did also say that we needed earnings period to be quite consistent across the board. We needed them all to be doing well. Blowing off expectations and keeping a consistent sort of the, the supply chain issues, all these over war, these things aren't really bothering us too much, we're going to be okay. It was a big ask, and unfortunately it's starting to unravel that that is not going to be the case. The Dow notched its fourth consecutive weekly loss, and the S&P posted its third for the week. The Dow fell 1.9, S&P 2.8, and the Nasdaq declined 3.8. And you can see our updated graph here then, the commodity still doing well, oil still doing well, gold pulled back a bit. And the dollar worked kind of in our favour um, on that day. We did the Tesla trade, we actually sort of over the 24 hour period, we got like 1.5% back on the interest, which was helpful, which was needed. But the key takeaways this week is we have the big boys playing now. I actually have opened up a position on Facebook purely, purely as more of a slot machine trading. I just don't like to play earnings, but this one I thought, it's so beaten down, which we'll get into. Uh, I did open up a small position here, but we can see there's some big boys playing. Coca-Cola, eyes on them for the recession, sort of in the inflationary plays. I'm very, very keen. We've talked about that in many different videos. I'm not gonna go over it anymore. We're keen to see what how they perform. I suppose Activism Blizzard, just to get an idea of how the gaming sector is doing. Then the big ones, Microsoft, Google, Fiza, Pepsi, just like Coca-Cola, we've, we've swing traded into them, so we'll be keeping an eye on them as well. Then here's our Facebook on Wednesday. Thursday, Apple, Amazon, MasterCard, the big boys are reporting. Another one's I'm going to be keen on is Caterpillar, which I closed out my trade on this week. We're going to get into what trades I've closed out this week and we're going to talk about what trades you should be targeting this week. Housing market update, very keen on this because that'll be an indication of when this recession is coming. So we've got to keep our eye on that. First quarter growth estimate here and just remember that they're still not forecasting a recession in 2022. I still sort of buy in that I've always said sort of 18 months. I suppose that was maybe about four months ago now. So I would say a year from now. So you're probably talking the middle of 2023, but you cannot put a pin on this at all. So don't ever hold me to that. But the indications would say that this is coming. We swing trade a lot of our stuff, we hold our longer holds and we try to time our buys. The reason we do that is because we don't want to be left holding any bags. We don't want to find ourselves down ever 60, 70, 80%. There's no point. You just lick your wounds, go away, reset up, refocus. Have a look at the SMP, the SPY. This is how she's performing on the weekly chart. We zoom right in. On the week, we've become a sell. On the day chart, we have become a sell and you get access to these indicators in my trading course which really help you if you're new and these indications just are, are, are on the money you pretty much buy when it says buy and you sell when it says sell for example the last time a real big buy came in we said buy we read it up you'd be up five percent you sell you would miss that 2.2 percent then you would buy back in eh, you're probably losing on that trade but here two out of three ain't bad as meatloaf says that doesn't look good. Indications so on, going down, RSI, MACD, grim, grim, grim. Not great when you've got big tech earnings to report. We're well below our averages now and the general trend isn't that good. So let me just strip this back and we go to the weekly chart. The reason you don't want to be holding said bag and unlike these other YouTubers that are always like, oh, buy the dip, buy the dip, buy the dip and it'll be fine, it'll be fine. These guys haven't went through a 10, 15 year sort of nothingness. I'll hold my hand up, nor have I. However, um, I've done a lot of studying, let's just say, 
and these people you, sh you shouldn't listen to. Unsubscribe and subscribe to my channel. That would be best. For an example, dot com bubble. 6th of March 20. And there we go. <laughs> so how does 13 years before you break to new highs sound? <laughs> Sounds pretty damn grim to me. Uh, but that's what the, the other YouTubers will be doing, um, and that's what they're all they're all planning to do. They're buying, buying dips, so they're and they're going to hold for uh, the best part of a, a decade and a half. So if that's what you want to do, keep following them. But I would suggest not doing that. Learn to trade, protect yourself, learn how to make money in any scenario. I actually don't mind it when it goes down. So we will ride momentum. Things will bounce on the way down. It just doesn't go. It'll go. Whoop, and, it'll go, and then whoop, 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 and it'll just sucker people back into the whole market. And here's our Nasdaq then, also looking pretty damn grim on the weekly chart. We had this lovely channel, we've broke out of it, we've got our little bounce that everyone was getting excited about. We couldn't get above our averages and now it looks to be going back down and it's the same weekly chart. Day chart's already been there, it's been there for a while now. Um, again, blow all our averages going absolutely down, down to Chinatown. And we've been trading all types of stocks on this channel recently, um, and they've been great, absolutely great. We've, we've made great money on Dollar Tree, Dollar General, Albertsons, Caterpillar. We were in on MasterCard for about a week there as well, just, just riding the momentum. Every single one of them now I have closed. Dollar Tree, we've been riding this roughly since about start of February, um, and yeah, just a 34% really in and out of that now we take some profits we'll be doing a bit of jiggery all in the discord everyone knows the crack but generally speaking the trend's been very very good there really hasn't been any opportunities to sell but this candlestick was one hell of a one and i said everybody on the four hour chart was actually when i got out because we, we'd crossed over but i did my video where i compared and i'll share the link to that video I did my video where i compared and i sort of said look at look at 08's recession look at the lead up to it all the tech all that <laughs> first to go first to go all down small caps all gone 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 these were the last things to fall and then they also went and the reason they also went is because nothing can escape a full-blown recession i'm not saying we're there yet i'm not saying that by any stretch of the imagination but i'm just saying with these types of ones at all time highs you don't want to be caught with the knickers down so you sell and you sit out and you go let's just assess oh is it turning around i'll go back in that is the best practice, especially in a scenario. Premier African Minerals, keeping a close eye on this one. The lithium plays are doing very well. Mining is very new well. A buy symbol has just come in, and I'm going to do a video on that this week, potentially, so I'll keep you more up to date on that. Tweet, tweet. I'm in Twitter. I'm in Twitter since the Elon Musk news. The trade hasn't particularly went very well. Um, kind of only got in on it as a, as a fundamental news rather than charts. So, yeah, typical. If you don't follow charts, you know, more times than that will lose. But it has... Fortunately, become a buy, starting to look a bit stronger. So yeah, we'll see what happens. But earnings is coming up, and it's very, very choppy. And there's a wee, not we say manipulation, but there's an extra sort of thing around that. There is getting it fired up, and that's the whole Elon Musk potential buy over. So try carefully on Twitter. Codal Minerals, we know all about Codal. Video will be out tomorrow on Codal, but Codal Dream is the friggin' dream. We are making so much money on Codal Minerals. It is on true, up forty percent in about two and a half weeks. Tesla, hmm. It's still a buy, still relatively strong, good news, good earnings, but the RSI MACD is going down. It could go really either way. It could really pull back, which is why I want more money to be able to buy said dip. Because I think if there's any stocks that will survive, it'll be Tesla. Reason being, I think it's all, all, arguably the best growth stock. Record earnings, 80% year on year growth. Absolutely phenomenal. The whole Netflix crash. Maybe I should move my money into the likes of Tesla who are pretty much saying supply, inflation, all the issues that everyone else is facing. Tesla isn't facing. Why? Because their order book's so strong that they are literally passing on uh, the majority of the inflationary costs or supply chain issues onto the customer. And guess what? So many customers are in line, people are paying it. Phenomenal space for Tesla to be in, and they're in the right sector with the whole EV, clean energy, all that. Only thing with Tesla is you have Elon Musk, which is, in my opinion, a great advantage. But it can also be a bit risky. If he pulls out money for Twitter, it could mm, sound a bit choppy. So it's a bit nervy. ABML, going to do a video on this. We talked about it. And guess what? I said in my video, if it gets to 109, you buy. I actually ended up buying at 104 because I didn't see my phone until 109. Put that in the Discord. So that's been a great trade. I did a video on this during the week, Artel Africa. I'm going to keep a close eye on this this week because it does actually look good. Um, on the charge, so that could be potentially a swing trade. Pepsi on the back of earnings, potentially could be jumping in, still looks relatively strong, bit of a sell-off. We can see that if we look at the four-hour chart, it has become a sell, but 
Good earnings, it could spark it, so that could be uh, potentially one that I'll be back in on. Channel talked about yums, I like that for inflationary issues, but it is also become a sell. Facebook now, this is one that I bought, and the reason I bought Facebook is because it is so beaten down. Facebook's PE ratio is below 13 for a fang stock. Anyone that does PE ratios, price to earnings will know $13 is robbery so it just feels like you should be buying this um, i know they have scrutiny and they know they have issues and the big outla um, outlays coming up for the, the metaverse but let's have a let's have a look back at this here you're back to sort of march 20 prices unbelievable and we had also seen these highs you know back in 2018 and you know, it's over four years ago it's unbelievable do decent earnings and it could make the thing pop gamble um sort of third of the position maybe even half of the position depending on how this week goes will be built see what way earnings goes. If it tanks hard, I'll be buying the dip because I think that's one that I have no problem holding. It's a bit like buying your oil in the summer. I have no problem holding that for six, eight, nine, ten months because uh, I believe that it, it'll come good. Bungie was one of them. This trade has been going to, to plan really, to be honest. I, I did say in the Discord, we're buying this at the peak. Um, be careful for pullbacks, you know, phase in a bit of money and we'll see where it goes. And that is what, what I'm done. We're phasing in a bit of money, we'll see where it goes. Still like another maybe 30% of the position size and that is the same for NTR. Um, it does concern me that they've both become sales, but I see these as buying opportunities. I am rolling the dice at the Ukraine, the food shortages, these things will continue to push on. They are massively up, so tread carefully and you know we talked about the ntr here you can see what i bought today because we touched the nine day moving average next top up will be around this so again we just keep having a target we just don't aimlessly throw money in dollar cost averaging every day you get paid is not good don't get me wrong in the right environment dollar cost averaging can work out fine this is not the environment this is going to hurt you you need to know when to buy if you're long holding you need to know when to buy and sell if you're swing trading Whatever type of strategy you have to investing, you need to understand at least a bit of how to use the charts because it will dramatically change how much money you will make. These are the types of stocks we've been investing for two months when everything else is going down the tech. These stocks have been performing well. Now they've all become sales. What do we look towards? I'm going to be brutally honest. I'm not really going to be looking to do too much more than what I just said there. Those are the positions that I'm looking at. All my kind of swing trades are, are nearly off the table. There's a couple still at play. Uh, I'm still buying nibbling away at TLT. And when I say nibbling away, this has been kind of like $100 getting through in every few days. Um, it's kind of like buying your oil in the summer, hoping eventually this will turn around. We can see that it is massively now oversold and hopefully it will start to see a bit of a bounce in the treasury. So that's somewhere, the treasury, stuff like that is maybe where you could be looking at. But ultimately this week, because of earnings, because it's big tech earnings, it's huge volatile uh, swings. I'd be looking at your indices. If it's a good day, jump on the TQQ. Bad day, jump on the SQQ and short the thing. And I would just be just just be playing them, to be honest. Um, obviously, the SQQ now has become a buy. And if you bought on our buy symbol, you would be setting off 30% in about two weeks. So I'd be looking at those types of things this week because of all the big earnings, all the craziness. I would just be cautious. So that's the video. Look, it's, it's a doom and gloom one. It's not too good, guys. It's going to be a grim week, I think. Earnings could make a swing either way. Just stay out of it. Watch as a spectator. Watch this video if you want to know more about it. Please help me out by liking and subscribing the channel. I have something like 70% of returning people to my channel. Don't subscribe. Come on. Hit the subscribe button. Help a brother out. I'm trying to get the 4,000 subs here. Pain in the game. Catch you in the next one. Peace.